Hello and good morning. Now you may be wondering, what am I doing here on what is obviously an industrial back street? It's a one-way spot as well. And there's obviously a company here doing stuff. And you think it to yourself, well, this is not a usual place that Tal goes to on his stuff for the ambient life. But actually, I wanted to show you this building here. It's now called the English Pewter Company. And that's a company that I'm assuming does, well, pewter dishes or cups or whatever. That's still something that's been around for hundreds of years. But actually, it's not the pewter that I'm interested in showing you. It's this building. And this building is particularly important to our industrial history and our global industrial history. I'm just moving forward a little bit because this building is quite possibly one of the most significant buildings in Sheffield. This place was run by a company that is still in existence, a company called Firth Brown. And this place was their research lab in the late 1800s. And there was a chap who worked here who ran it called Mark Brearley. I think it was Mark, definitely Brearley. And he discovered something. This building on a back street in a suburb of Sheffield where there are car lots and mechanics and train tracks and a bit of disorganization. This building is where stainless steel was born. Here is a guy who discovered that if you add a certain amount of chromium, I think around 13%, to steel, it doesn't corrode. And he coined the phrase stainless steel. So all you can see is a back street, as I say, but let's get a bit closer because there is a memorial to this. Um, massive feat because a little, little job in a lab made a massive difference to millions of lives since then. Anybody who builds or anybody who's used a knife and a fork in stainless steel has done so because of this man. But let's have a look at what it says. Stainless steel made in Sheffield. This building formerly, the Brown Firth Research Laboratories, is the birthplace of stainless steel. From 1908 to 1915, Harry Brearley worked here as the first manager of the laboratories. In August of 1913, his research led him to the re a discovery that a 13% chromium steel had excellent corrosion resistance. He called his discovery stainless steel and pursued its technical and commercial developments with outstanding genius and determination. This is him. His successor, Dr. W. H. Hatfield was instrumental in developing new high quality stainless steels, including the 18 by 8 chromium nickel grade, now the most popular throughout the world. The historic work carried out here made the name of the city synonymous with stainless steels and laid the foundation of Sheffield's still flourishing steel industry. So, Sheffield still has this reputation of precision steel. Germany as a country always has this reputation of excellence in engineering um, and excellence in their steel works as well. The Japanese steel industry is massive. It's absolutely huge. Uh, the Chinese industry is massive. The stainless steel industry, all of it comes from this one little building on a back street in Sheffield. 1908, 1913, 
and onwards. This is where industrial history was made. As you can see, lots of businesses and lots of work going on. But this is the place that all started, guys. Just wanted to share that one with you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like as usual, guys. Tell your friends, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.